Good evening to you. She survived a brutal attack by a pack of dogs. Only WKYT was there when a Lincoln County woman returned home from the hospital today. Loretta Stevens suffered serious injuries in the attack in her garden on Monday. She talked to us briefly as she arrived home this afternoon. But first, a warning you may find some of this video disturbing. Victor Puente has our top story at 6. Loretta Stevens returned home around 3.30. She was nice enough to talk to me despite the pain she's in. Our interview only lasted a few seconds as she thanked the people who've been taking care of her since she was attacked by a pack of dogs Monday morning. The wounds on Stephen's legs and shoulders are minor compared to the injuries to her arms. Her daughter showed me a picture from the hospital and you could see her muscles and chunks of skin that had been torn away. Stevens told me her attorney asked her not to speak about the attack, but she did want to thank the people who had helped her. The hospital's been real good to me. They done real good to me. Yeah, been real good. Ambulance driver's been real good. Everybody's been real good to me. Yeah, I appreciate everybody's help. Lincoln County Sheriff Kurt Folger says the dogs that attacked Stevens were owned by Christopher Pope and were being kept behind a nearby home that no one was living at. Pope is charged with harboring a vicious animal and animal cruelty. Stevens' mother showed me the path she crawled back to her home after that attack. Six of those dogs are now at the Lincoln County Animal Shelter. A seventh was shot and killed. Stephen says she has several more surgeries planned, including skin grafts. I uh, hurt real bad. Hurt real bad. <laughs> I need to go in and lay down. I hurt real bad. My mom's taking care of me. Christopher Pope bonded out of the Lincoln County Jail earlier today. It's possible he may face more charges in Boyle County for a separate group of dogs that police found in a home that has since been condemned. In Lincoln County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Christopher Pope has a status hearing in Fayette County tomorrow on a case from last year. He is charged with trafficking a controlled substance and being a persistent felony offender.